Hey guys, this is Dr. Polly. Uh, right now we're going to do exercise two. And if you look at the, uh, in this one, we're going to play with linear patterns. Uh, there's no point in creating the same shape multiple times uh, by drawing them each individually. Uh, SolidWorks has something called linear pattern, and we're going to use that to, uh, we're just going to draw one and then just do a pattern from that point on. Um, front view, top view, uh, there's no point in the right side because there won't be any more detail shown. This is a, an isometric of it over here. Uh, so what we're going to do is we're going to draw the shape from the front plane. Uh, it's going to be a 6 by 4.5. I'm going to knock some fillets off of it. And then we're going to draw this. And I'm going to do all of this in one sketch um, just to show you how to do it in sketch mode. Um, the linear patterns. So here we go. Uh, first thing I'm going to do is I'm going to say I'm going to do an extrusion from the front plane. I'm going to go ahead and uh, give myself a rectangle. Notice I started at the origin here. I was to mention it. Uh, the height is 4.5. Uh, the width is 6. I'm um, going to go ahead and knock out my uh, 0.5 fillets on the corners. So knock that one out, that one, that one, that one. Hit enter. Um, now I'm going to create the slots, and the slots are right here. It's uh, 2 inches between the centers, and the slots are located by the centers, so it's a half inch up and a half inch over to this center here. And the width of the slots are a quarter of an inch. So I'm going to use the slot tool, and I'm going to pick a straight slot, and since I know that this is a half inch radius, that means that this point right here, uh, the center of that radius, is a half inch over and a half inch up. So I'm just going to click on it. Um, it's going to do some dimensioning for me. I'm going to stretch out a little bit, expand, and I'm going to edit these dimensions. I have mine set to where it automatically gives me dimensions. So it's going to be too long, and this part right here is going to be 0.25 wide. Okay. Now. Uh, let's go ahead and do a linear pattern with that. So I'm going to go over here and say linear pattern, uh, linear sketch pattern. Uh, X axis, which is left to right, um, I don't only want one um, instance of it. You have to count the current instance. Uh, direction Y, which is up and down, I need eight. So I'll hit eight. And then it says, okay, what's the spacing between them? And the spacing between them is 0.5, typical. Then it asks me what entities, I have to click entities, uh, I'll pick this entity. And you notice that it goes ahead and populates it. And so I'll say OK. All right. Now the next thing I want to do is create my circle over here somewhere. And let's put it in place. It's uh, 1.5 over, 1 inch up. And remember, circles are always located by their centers and the diameter of that circle is 0.75 and there we go now there's three of those going up and down and with a 1.25 uh, typical spacing so again I'm going to do linear sketch x-axis once again I only want one y-axis I want three and the spacing is 1.25 and the pattern I wish to uh, entity that I wish to pattern is the circle and then I'll say okay and we have completed this after I extruded a quarter of an inch so 0.25 and we have completed exercise 2